there's always a way to make chords interesting. And one of the things that we can do to do that is to change the interval structure of the chord. We all know that a chord is just a bunch of notes that we play together. And the basic chords always follow the same structure. We have a root note, and then the third, and then the fifth. This is the most basic chord, which is also called a triad. We can also add additional notes to the chord, which are called extensions, such as the 7th, the 9th, the 11th, and the 13th. Now the chord structure is built so that every note that we add on top of the chord is always higher in pitch. So if I play the note C, which is the root note of the chord, and then I play the E, the note E is higher in pitch than the C. When I play the G, which is the fifth, this note is higher in pitch than the C and then the E. When I play the seventh, this note is higher in pitch than the C, the E and the G. And the same thing happened with the uh, D, which is the ninth, the eleventh and the thirteenth. Now we can change this interval structure. Think about an F add nine chord that we play like this. You can already hear that the notes don't always go up, the steps don't always go up. In fact, we have the root note F, the major third A, and then the third note is the G, the major nine, which is played with the G string open. Now this note is this one, which is lower in pitch than the third. And then we have the fourth note, which is the B string which is another G, sorry, the B string for number 8, which is another G, so it's another major 9 played one octave higher. And so we have the root note, we go up, then we go down, and then we go up again. Now this is pretty cool because this approach it allows you to really come up with cool chords. So the goal here is to keep an open string between two fretted notes. Now in this lesson I'm going to show you the instrumental that I was playing at the beginning of the video which is played with this type of chords uh, following the same rule. We're going to keep the G string open. Now you can get the tab if you need, check my Patreon page and support this channel. So thank you so much to all the people who support me on my Patreon page. You are awesome. Now the chords that we are about to play sound like this. So the rule here is to keep the G string open and the first chord is the F add 9 chord, beautiful sounding chord. Uh, we are playing the A string fret number 8 and then 7 and then the G string open and the fret number 8 again. We're not playing the low E string and the top E string. Root note, 3rd, major 9 and major 9. You can just arpeggiate this chord either with the thumb or with the fingers. Now this, this is the major shape. Uh, the next chord is a D minor chord, we're going to play a minor shape, so we're going to go down to the fret number 5 and play 5, 3, open, and 5. So we're going to lower the 3rd, the index, 1 fret down to play the minor shape. We are playing the root note, the uh, minor 3rd, and then the 11th, and then the 9th. So this is a beautiful D minor 9, uh, we're not playing the minor 7th though. And then the A minor, which will have the same shape here. So we are on fret 12, 10, open, and 12. And here uh, you can really hear the, uh, the interval structure, which is pretty cool. You have the third, and then the G is way lower than the minor third. And then we we'll go up, playing the note B on the B string fret number 12. Then we have the B string fret number 13, back to the 12, and we play the same chord, but we play uh, the bass note on the A string open, which is the same as this one, just one octave lower. So, so when you put it together, three and four and, just let it ring out, four and, Now we can also make things a little bit more rhythmic 
and add a rhythmic pattern. We're also gonna add an additional chord. So we're gonna play the chords like this. So the pattern is very simple. I'm just playing a thumb, index, middle and ring and it's four rounds for each chord. The D minor. Now when we um, play the A minor chord, we're gonna play the one uh, with the A string open, which is easier to slide um, rather than play this one. So we just wanna play the A string open four times. And then this beautiful G chord, which is just like the F add 9, just up here on fret 10, 9, open, and 10. And you can repeat it again. The second time, just make it a little bit more conclusive and just do the arpeggio twice and then just pose on the bass note. One, two, three, and four. Now guys, we are going to add a, a different section to the exercise just to give it a little bit of a structure and we're gonna play the chords like this. So as you can see, we are going to start with D minor chord. And the arpeggio is slightly different. I'm just using thumb, thumb, index, and middle. And then you let the chord ring out. Then you have the melody is on the B string, fret number 10, and uh, sorry, fret number 5, and 6. And then we have the F at 9. You just let it ring out uh, like we did for the D. Then we have the melody slightly different here. So I'm playing the bass note again and then the E string fret number eight, seven, and the fret eight on the B string. And then the beautiful A minor chord. So I'm playing the A string and the B string fret number 12 here simultaneously. And then the D string and the G string. And then the melody on the B string. Three notes on fret 13, 12, and eight. And this is the very first time where we are playing a chord that has a completely different shape. It's a G major chord. Um, you wanna play the fret eight and then you put down the A string fret number 10. And then the D string fret number 10 and then the G string open. And then we finish with the A string fret 10 and the D string fret number nine. So it's a G sus four and a G major. We we'll go back to the a D minor chord. Same thing. Now. So we have the same thing all the way up to the A minor chord. And then we have fret number 13 and the G uh, chord, the G at nine chord. We're gonna arpeggiate this chord uh, quite quickly with thumb, thumb, index, and middle. And then we have a phrase, which is. So I'm playing the E string fret number eight, seven, five, and the B string fret number eight is four notes. And then the same thing starting on the E string for number seven and five, and the B string for number eight, and the E string open. So it's two sets of four notes. We'll go back to the F at nine. Slow down, and the C at nine. Which is three, two, open, and three. And you let it ring out.
Now this is how we put together a really cool chord progression using chords that have a different interval structure. That's pretty cool and you can do it with the G string open like we did today, but also with the B string open if you want or with the D string open. Now I think the G is just great because it's right in the middle and it's pretty easy to come up with beautiful sounding chords, but we were in the, let's say, A minor key. Now try in different keys and let me know if you like this approach. So. Thank you so much for watching this video guys and I'll see you next time for another lesson.